Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I am finishing, well not finishing, I am going through some more of that eBay lot that I started. I think I've shared two parts from this. It was 24 pounds that I bought for, it was about $40 with shipping. So I have this bag that I'm gonna go through and then the earrings that I didn't get to mate up in the last video. So I'm gonna go ahead and match those up so you can see what they are. Uh, let's dive in and see. I did find in one of the other ones, I found a 14 karat gold necklace and a bit of silver stuff. So pretty awesome. Uh, there was the bag of watches. That was pretty cool. I found some really cool watches in that one. So I'll link those, uh, the first two ones from this lot down below. And as always, if you see anything that you're interested in, please send me an email because I like to work out deals with my viewers or my friends of the channel that are interested in things that they might see from the haul video. Cool, cool. Let's do this. Starting off, we got some bangles here. Looks like they're probably just you know, costume jewelry bangles. This one's a, bit, a plastic one. So a couple options there is that I can lot them up or if I wanted to just get a whole bunch of bangles together, which I personally am a bangle lover, uh, but I like getting sterling silver bangles and then I just have them all over me. And then the plastic one's pretty cool. It's a nice skinny black plastic bangle. This one, it's I'm gonna look and see if I see any other plastic bangles that are kind of skinny like this because I might I might lot some of those up too that's pretty nice next up this is actually a fairly nice bracelet so it's got a white leather band and then this kind of medallion in the middle that's got this peace sign a lot of times I'll get these and they don't look very nice the leather will be all gross or peeling or something like that but this one actually looks pretty good there's not a maker's mark or anything like that but I think I could probably at least get 15 bucks for it so that's a good seller and then we've got this pendant it looks like an eye a big ginormous eye so what am I gonna do with this thing hmm I I don't know I might hang on to it and put a cord on it it's kind of fun it's big and showy it's at least two maybe three inches across it's very large, my darlings. So, I'll see you. Do you see me? It's like a cyclops, right? Cyclops, eye, evil eye, whatever you wanna call it, go for it. Then, let's see, what have we here? Are you tangled? A little tangled. Okay, oh wait, this is not, this doesn't even go together. You, out of here. Okay, even better. So this is a hammered, kind of brutalist style necklace. And I have that, I get that question when I talk about brutalist style jewelry. It's basically, it looks like metal that's just kind of like torn and sheared and like really rough hewn, uh, roughly made. And so as you can see, like the edges on these are not smoothed off. They're really like rough and, and, and all. And then like the hammered look. So this, uh, Copper necklace, I could easily say, you know, hammered ring, copper necklace, brutalist style. So this is something, ooh. Well, I might have to find a hook for it because I don't have a clasp here, but that's very easily repaired. Just get a clasp for this, and then uh, I could probably get at least 25 bucks for this, I bet. This was the chain that was tangled up with it so that'll just go to a lot. Look at this, darlings. Oh my goodness. This is quite Art Nouveau. Only have it upside down. Oh. So this is Art Nouveau, big time with the swirls. And then this flower. I mean, just get a load of that flower. Let me zoom it in so you can see a bit better. But what is that? Is that a, it's not a tulip. Some kind of lily with the long, like swirly lily leaves. And yeah, it's got a very like watery, ephemeral quality to it. What do you think it is? You ready? One, two, three, flip. It is a belt buckle. 
So I will look a little bit closer for this, uh, for what I might sell this belt buckle for, but being as it is, oh, it's not magnetic. I, it's antique. It's, I don't think it's technically, what do you think? I'm going to look a bit closer. It's awesome though. I don't see any marks on this, but I think I could probably, I'm probably gonna list this. I'm on the fence because I haven't done any research, but probably somewhere between 35 and $50 because it's awesome. It's really cool. Like, I wonder even like, it could be used for like a skinny belt, but I bet you could also use it on a hat band. Like if you had a really cool hat and you wanted the showy hat band, that would be an awesome hat band, like medallion as well. So, I will do a little research on this and I may go higher because it's it's pretty awesome. Let's let's start with 50 and we'll work from there. Next is another plastic bangle. It's yeah, it's just plastic. It's not bakelite or anything like that, but it's pretty cool with twistiness to it. So I'm gonna set it aside. It might be something that I go ahead and sell because it's it's kind of cool. And you know, some of those girls like to layer those plastic bangles on their wrists and so having you know some different plasticky bangles twisty one like this one might be something so maybe you know 12 or 15 bucks on that next up is this bangle with these faux little stones in it probably just going to go to a lot stretchy beads that have lost their stretch these will i might send these to my sister because there's some nice uh, glass beads here, nice wood beads that can she could repurpose for something else. Okay, bring it. Let's look at this. Turn it over. Okay, can we not turn it the right way? What's the deal with this thing? This looks like somebody made it. I can't get it all facing the right direction, which is kind of annoying. Let's see how we're gonna do this. There are some pieces on this that are super cool. So I cannot seem to get it to all face the right way because some of them want to flip around the wrong way. So we've got some shell that looks like, you know, they're all floral. So shell, some nice little plastic ones down here, some different shelly ones here. There's a big yellow flower. This is the one that has caught my eye. It looks like perhaps at once upon a time, maybe it was a clip on earring that has been fastened to this, but look at these AB stones around it. I love this. And that bright orange pop in the middle. Oh, I mean, it's pretty cool. If I could get it, no, honestly, this fabric is just grossing me out. So, so when you put 30 bucks on it, but yeah, that fabric is, I can't even. So I'll probably, oh dear, what would you do? I mean, honestly, it might just go into a lot as much as I love this one part of it. I, the rest of it's, what am I gonna do? I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, okay, we've got another sweet little bracelet here. So this is a nice, almost like bangle bracelet that's got a hook and eye closure. And this sweet flower, it's very delicate and dainty. A bit misshapen, but that could be easily fixed. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna list this or not, so I might put this in a lot. Ah, look at this. Okay, too bad. This is a cool brooch with these pink Rivoli stones. I love things with Rivoli stones. It's the stones that it's pointy on top and that just catches the light like crazy. Can you see it like shimmer, shimmer, shimmer? But it's missing some of the stones, which is a big bummer. So that will just go to a lot. Somebody will love that though. Somebody will pop those stones out and use it for something else. Awesome. Oh, okay. It's got like, not just fabric, but like, pantyhose, which no, no ma'am. Out. You're out! Alright, then we have this is, I can't read this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what does it say? Something 2019. Oh, I still can't see it. Craftcation. I guess it's like a vacation, but you're crafting a craftcation. And it's a letter K on there. So I will look this bracelet up and see. There, this might be something someone likes. Even if it craftcation isn't a fancy thing, 
What I might do is take this medallion off, and I don't know, but just to have like a K initial bracelet, that's something somebody might buy if they don't know or care about what craftication is. I don't even know. We've got some giant hoops, ladies. Oh my gosh. Okay, those are going to a lot. They're ginormous. We have a magnetic wraparound bracelet, a lot. Then we've got some more bangles here and maybe like a, what is that? Like a nose ring or something? So these are magnetic, so they get to go over there. What are you doing? You're not attracting to my, but just listen to it. That, that's so light, it's probably like tin or aluminum. Yeah, it's totally not silver. So watch, watch me bend it. Bend, bend, yeah, not silver. So that is out of y'all, going to a lot. Oh, okay, this is cool. So we've got quite a cuff bracelet here. I love this. Now, I, somebody has like lasered some initials on there, L-F-A. It might have sold better without it, but I may still try to sell it. I mean, you've got to find somebody with those initials, but maybe it's worth a shot. Then we've got this zebra striped. I'm going to try to sell this. Every time I think, eh, I don't know about that. Animal stripes or animal print, people tend to like it. And it's okay. I mean, maybe 15 bucks. I just sold that other zebra stripe chunky bangle for like 20 something dollars, so why not, right? Now then, we have this. It's a little bracelet that you can change the, the size of it and tighten it up, right? And it's got a cross, a little flower, and a heart. They are marked on the back. And again, super duper tiny. They are marked L-A-C-N, which I don't know what that is, so I will have to look this up. All right, we've got this necklace, rather, that has these little kind of scoops. What does this label say? Claire's, that's just gonna go to a lot, yeah. Then they've got this necklace. What do you think about that one? It's different, it's got these little like seeds but then these beads are a little bit different. Might be going to a lot. It's got these orange shells. Maybe I'm talking myself out of it. I mean, it looks pretty neat with some of the coloring with the orange. Eh, maybe not, yeah. Okay, what do we have here? We have this gold necklace. The spring ring in it is magnetic. I see a mark on the, let me zoom it in a bit for y'all. I see a mark on the hook there. So this is 120th 14 karat gold filled, so I'll put this with my gold filled stuff. Toe ring, toe ring anyone? Are we bringing back the toe, toe ring? Or do they never go away? I don't even know what other people's feet look like anymore, honestly. Do people still have feet? Is that still a thing? I know I do, but I hate to make assumptions in the world out there. <laughs> All right, next up we've got this necklace. I actually might sell this one. And I always think, is this, I always forget what this is called, but is this from the coconut discs? What, what is it, something else? I always forget, I have to look it up. It's something that I don't like, so I don't like make a mental note of it personally, but I could see it selling. It's got, you know, multi-strand, it's got a nice back, you know, button part. So yeah, I'll try to sell that. Next up is this heart necklace. The finish has rubbed off on parts of it. So that will go to a lot. Then we have a bag. This looks promising. In this bag, what we have here is this really pretty flower brooch. It is gorgeous. It's a, I guess a rose, it's got thorns. And I'm looking on the back for any kind of marks. I don't see any but it's really pretty. So that is something that will definitely sell. There are matching earrings. These are clip-ons. And again, no marks on these either. They're super awesome. I do not think I will lot them together. Personally, I, I don't usually do that. Um, I don't know, tell me your thoughts on that. Maybe I should in this case. And then 
we've got this locket piece with this chain that's got two kinds of chain on it. So this side we've got some faux pearls and little dangly chains. We've got a, a wider, bigger link on this side. We've got a tighter weave link on the other. I think this is something handmade, homemade rather. Uh, that is magnetic, that is not. These little chains are not magnetic. Hmm. And so there's no way, there's not like a clasp for me to take a peek at. Oh, there's another style of chain right there. Okay, somebody was having fun with their chains. So I might test some of these. Now look, this is twisted on here, so I cannot open it. I mean, I can kind of peek that way. Looks like the glass is in there, but yeah, I can't, I would have to remove it from this to really get a good look in there to see what we've got, but I don't see, it doesn't look like there's really anything in there. Okay, so I'm probably gonna put this with my testing stuff just for fun to test these little bits of chain out and everything. Let's see what we've got. All right, we've got a pillow pet. No, it's <laughs> it's one of these that you would hang from your, I don't know, would you hang it from, how would you put that on your rear view mirror? It's too tiny. What would that go to? Hmm. And it's got a really dirty tassel, so. I mean, the beads on it are pretty cool, but you know how I feel about dirty tassels. This is, this business is not okay. I mean, I know there's ways to fix it, but no. <laughs> uh, it probably stands for prosperity or something and bag full of money. Maybe it's against, like maybe it's bad luck to get rid of it once it's in your possession. I don't know. I don't know what the rules for this, I mean, what if I got rid of it and then suddenly, look at how superstitious I am. What if I got rid of it and then suddenly I had bad luck with money? Oh my gosh. Is there money inside? No, it's just cushion. Oh, now I'm worried. Now I'm worried. Okay, go over there. Okay, so first up we've got this necklace or bracelet or something. Anyway, all of these little beads that are on a string that is, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna pop. It's gonna pop, it's just a matter of time. We've got the Buddha head here with his super long earlobes. Enlightenment, y'all and all kinds of other fun things. So I'm gonna send this to my sister. We have got, I thought this was on this necklace, but maybe not. Oops, you can't see. Whoops-a-daisy. All right, so yeah, I thought originally that was on there, but it's not. So I've got this vintage white bead necklace. Oh, it's kind of cool. I like how it's got the chain underneath instead of like a string. That's pretty nice. I don't see a maker's mark, but I may try to sell that one. This pendant, I'm probably just gonna put in a lot. This plastic bangle is just a straight up plastic bangle, but I gotta, I don't know. I'm gonna hang on to it for a minute. So here you can see there's a seam. Can you see on there? So if you see a seam, you know it's not gonna be Bakelite because Bakelite is poured and then cut, right? If you see a seam, then you know it was poured into like a mold, like this mold for this particular shape. Whereas like Bakelite would be poured into a big thing and then like cut, chop, chop, chop. And if you, if, if, if I'm wrong, then y'all tell me. But Bakelite doesn't have seams, right, y'all? <laughs> I get, I start to second guess myself and then I'm like, oh wait, is it? No. All right, I need help with princessing. Okay, this, the reason I think it's, or no, maybe it's Snow White because on the back it says Disney. So I think it's Snow White based on the shortness of the hair and the poofiness on the sleeves. So I think this is like a silhouette of Snow White. I will have to look it up. The tag says $6, but it may be worth more. Then we've got these black beads. I'm probably gonna put that in a lot. This can go to a lot. This, however, I will probably sell. Again, it's kind of minimalist, kind of got that Scandinavian look, kind of Viking look with the ring and the cord, and then it's got this eye hook in the back, you know, like so, only not like so, only like so. This looks like it's probably silver, maybe, and then the bar as well, so I'll have to look a bit closer at that. 
I think that'll sell. I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. <laughs> Looks like some bright orange Mardi Gras type beads. They're really orange though. I don't know. We'll see. Another bangle. That goes to a lot. This bangle. <sighs> I'm going to hold on to it and see if there's any others like it because it might be good stacked if there were more like this one. We'll see. I don't see a maker's mark in there either. Nope. Oh, there's something in the bag. Do we want to know what it is? There's a teaser. What's in the bag? Ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's zoom in on it. Zooming in. I don't know what's in the bag either. It looks like a brooch. It looks like maybe a setting. Maybe it had like a cameo in it. That's my guess. Let's pull it out. Nope. Never mind. It is a wreath of leaves. Now then, I do see a mark over there, but I also see some greenness, so that tells me, don't get your hopes up, girl. Don't get your hopes up, girl. Oops, upside down. Oh, it says AC 12 karat gold filled. I um, may see about cleaning it up and listing that. Okay. Got a little ring here. This is a bar and then this kind of pyramid on the other side. I guess people wear stuff like that. I don't know. Then we've got this bracelet, super misshapen. Is it reshapable? It is reshapable. Hmm, I don't know. Eh, I am not sure what to do with this. I guess I'm gonna put this in a lot. It's interesting, but I don't know. Wow, okay, we got a nice torque here. Big. It's twisty, big time twisty. And then it's got these two purple ends. This one has a bit of a, a finial on top. This one's got the hole for it, but it's not there. But maybe it would be okay. I mean, if you wore it that way, you might not notice. It looks like maybe this came off and was glued back on. No, that's on there hard too. I don't know. Okay, it's pretty cool. I'll sell it. Okay, coupling time. It is cufflink time. I like the cufflinks. You like the cufflinks. So, oh, these are fun. These have, are striped, and then they've got this deep red, and these are swank, which is a fair brand. That's good. Then we've got money, dollar sign cufflinks. Those are also swank. So yeah, I will definitely sell those. <laughs> All right, put those back in this baggie back in there you got some tie clips over here Come here tie clips this one's an anson which is also another fair brand that people like oh this is nice mid-century modern big time so it's got these kind of triangle pieces they kind of dip in and then this moonstone style yeah definitely mid-century modern look on that cool this one's fairly simple. It's got some arrows, kind of a Southwest theme on it. You're super far away, come closer. Why are you so far? Come closer. <laughs> there, okay. So we've got this kind of Southwest theme on this. And then it's got a pin, this like wishbone. I don't think I've encountered one like this. I'm trying to see. There's a mark on that too. What does this, does it unscrew? I need my cufflink king. Where are you? Or does it screw in? Okay, because it's connected over here. Oh my gosh, what's going on with this? Let me see what that mark is in there. FMCC, I think is what it says. 10 karat gold filled. But this, oh wait, is it? connected on there or is it not supposed to be? I don't know, that's on there. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little figuring out on this because it looks like, originally I thought it was like a button cover like so you don't lose it, but it's not. It's There's something else going on here. And look at that clasp, look at the grasp on that. It's got these like alligator teeth on the bottom. Wow, I'm gonna really have to find out more about this because I haven't encountered a tie bar like this one. Cool. Then we've got a solo in here and it's so wrapped up. 
It makes me very curious about why it's so protected. I had some cufflinks the other day. Maybe it, may, it matches one of those, but I don't think so. And that's another swank cufflink. Perhaps the mate will be here somewhere, so I'll hold on to it. I'm gonna put it in with these. Just in case the other one shows up. We've got some more, don't go away. We've got a box, it's a mystery. What's inside? Let's find out. Ooh, oh my goodness. Look at the gorgeousness. Look at these, they're beautiful. They've got those like baguettes cut. That's the square, I mean the rectangle ones, right? baguette. Blue kind of blue topaz color. That's a trifari. Oh, those are really pretty. Okay, definitely gonna sell those, they're gorgeous. <gasps> okay, bye. Then looks like we've got some silver and onyx earrings. Can you see them? Nope. There we go. Some silver, the mate is in there. An onyx, and there's more than one mark there, so let's see. THA925, so a THA may be the maker. If they're, because they do have kind of a Southwest style to them, they may be, uh, have a, you know, a maker. Does this say what it is? You know. I don't know where it cut off. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so those ones are silver. I will look up that maker. Get back in here. But look, on that one it says nine, oh, 925. I was like, $92. It's like Sterling. <laughs> see some fancy beading oh you're really close now let me let me zoom you back out a little bit so we can get the full effect here okay so we've got this major clasp we've got oh wow what in the world do we have going on here what is this what's happening okay <gasps> is it no what in the world okay Okay, we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna zoom it out so you can see the whole thing. So here's the whole thing. It's not a sock. Stop saying it's a sock. It's not a sock, all right? <laughs> so what we have is this beaded something. This part is not a sock where you would put your foot or hand in. It is quite beaded, beautifully, and then when there's this, this comes somewhere, this comes somewhere too, and then this clasp goes to something. <sighs> and listen to that. Let's get in closer on that one. Look at it. Y'all, I am stumped. And I love being stumped. I mean, it definitely is like, if I have to guess, like 20s or 30s, it's got that kind of Art Nouveau-ish look to it, or not. <laughs> what is this? What's happening here? I know, I might, it might be in the lot because the person that made this lot might be like, I don't even know what to make of this. But then there's this clip. Maybe this clip, maybe it's just like an adornment. Maybe you like clip it onto your dress belt just to have an extra fancy thing to swing around. I don't think so. I... Anybody? Wait, there's a hole here. So there is like a hole. Maybe it is some kind of like purse. So maybe, okay, I'm going out on a limb here. Y'all can make fun of me or not. So maybe this does clip on to like your purse, I mean your belt or your dress. These are actually what keeps the purse closed. So this like would slide down. So you have this like tubey thing, you know, as your as you would. And then this is where you would keep like your, your money, your bus fare or whatever, because you're riding the bus today. And then when you want to get into that, you like slide these up and then you can poke your hand down into this. Please don't let there be anything in there. That would scare me. 
and uh, you could reach down in there and get your nickel so you can pay the bus and then and then you slide it back down to close it up so nobody can get their fingers down in there for that what do you think because this part like this section looks like it has been moved upon with these so the top part is really beaded and then this part is a little less I bet that's what that is in some way but I don't know what it's called Chatelaine no is it what is it maybe you guys this is magnificent I have never come across anything like this I need help if you know what this is please say so you're gonna make it to the thumbnail pretty lady yes you are <laughs> now how are we gonna beat that it has to be something better that's I love finding new things learning new things I have no idea what that is I feel like I know this brand this is a fancy brand I feel like other than the greenness that needs to be cleaned off I feel like I have a bracelet of this brand that is really expensive I see a maker's mark what is it Maybe not I, I know that I have a brand this brand or one that looks like this that's really expensive this is and dick so uh, this is not what I thought it was is the greenness supposed to be there is one question I don't know I don't think so however the greenness you can't let me get closer the greenness seems to be uniform on these discs that's the part I'm like well maybe it is supposed to be there right because it is just like boom 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 on those discs unless that's no because I think that's the back I'm gonna have to do a little more looking at this. I will look this up, but I feel like I had another necklace similar to this that was worth a lot. But I'm gonna look that up. I'll pop the price on this one up because I'm curious about that. Okay, we've got another tie bar. This one's got some other pearl inlay, a gun. That one's a swank as well. This ring. This is sterling oval blue lapis bezel set, but I don't think that it is what it says it is. First of all, I've gotten enough wish orders, <laughs> but no, I don't think so. Uh, right in log, zero disc, I guess this must have been somebody's, at somebody's mm, booth, but I don't even think it's silver. Let's see. Well, I could be so wrong, but I don't think so. Hmm, let's see what it says over there. It says 925, okay. Let's, go, let's look closer at this, because my gut is like, no, that's not what that, that is. Do we really think it's lapis? If it's lapis, we'll see some gold speckles. Um, usually. I don't think so. And even look at the back. No, no way, Jose. I, I guess I can test it. I don't know if my tester tests for lapis, does it? That just looks plastic. I'm touching it. Uh, and look at the back. No, 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 no. I'll test it. I'll see if this is even silver. But I don't know. Look at the whiteness there. But that doesn't look like lapis at all. If it were stone, it would look more like sodalite to me. I don't know. There's no... No. No, there is some gold flecking over here. Right. Right there. You can kind of see some gold flecking right in there. <gasps> Maybe I'm super wrong. That would be awesome. Can you see that little speck? It's hard to see on the camera while I'm looking at it. But with the loop, when I look at that spot right there, that's kind of flecky. Flecky? Is that a word? It, it, does, it does gold flecks. What? I guess if you were going to fake it, you would fake it better than that. Yeah, there's some more like kind of gold flecking up here at the top part. It's super hard to catch because there's not a ton of it. All right. Yeah, I can see it more along the edges down in here along these edges. Wow. Okay, I will figure this one out. Yeah, the white stripe in there kind of threw me. But the back, that's still like... I guess if they scrape it like that, what, what, or put something there, I don't know. Y'all, I don't even know. I'll find out, but maybe this is a winner. Maybe it's going to be something awesome. I like, I mean, if it is silver, I mean, that's really ornate and awesome. That beading, cool. 
Okay, we'll see. We'll see. I found it. Where'd it go? Come back. There is the, the mate to that other coupling. Sweet. We got the mate. We got the mate, mate. All right, we have, ooh, this looks fun. This looks super mid-century modern. So we've got this focus. It's not picking it up as much in the, it's got more of an iridescent sheen in person. These little white, they're almost, almost like a creamy iridescence uh, in person. And they are on metal, brass or something, I don't know. The clasp, can y'all read that? I can't either. DA925 Sterling Norway, sweet. And I love it. And that goes in there. Let me zoom it out so you can see it better. You're probably hollering that at the screen the whole time, aren't you? <laughs> You're probably like, Margaret, we can't see it. Zoom out. Look, isn't it gorge? It's gorge, darling. Oh, I love it. And some of my friends, when we did the um, video, the, the speed dating, right? And so, I can't remember who it was, but some of y'all were like, oh yeah, y'all probably, and it's usually the UK sellers, were like, oh yeah, I find, you know, mid-century, I mean, Danish, Norwegian, like Scandinavian stuff. We don't, I don't find as much here. So when you said that, I'm trying to remember who it was that said that. Um, I was like, I wish. I would have such a hard time selling it, which I think you said you did. And I feel really bad that I can't remember who it was right now. I'm, I'm super bad with that, y'all, for reals. Okay, but gorgeous. And it's one of those that sits right at the collar, like at the neck. I don't know what this is gonna sell for, but it'll be, it'll be a lot because I like it. <laughs> and I would rather sell it for a lot than not sell it. Does that make sense or no? We've got some more bubble wrapped cufflinks. Let's tear into these like Christmas morning. Pull one out. So we've got, oh, that's fun. So what is that? Zoom in, zoom in. What do we got? What do we have? It's almost like a lightning bolt. Is that an Omega? No, what is it? I can't tell what that symbol is supposed to be. The back has that same symbol. Is it an, it's not an A, what is that? It must be a brand maybe. Is it a fancy schmancy brand that I don't know? I'm gonna look for any marks on the, um, and deep. I see no marks. Somebody maybe will know what this brand is. I don't, I do not. <laughs> Oh, you can see just from that dis distance, it is awesome. What are you, you beautiful, fantastic creature? We've got this flower. Look at it. Beautiful, like red poppy color, kind of like reddy orange with this amazing Art Deco something in the middle. Filigree, kind of like Chantilly style on the leaves and we do have a maker's mark original by robert i am gonna look this one up because i don't really know that i wonder if this was supposed to be there i love it it looks like maybe maybe not no i think it is <clears throat> so we'll look this one up i'll have to pop a price on that one because i have zero idea it's gonna be awesome though i can feel it and then we have these cage clip-ons screw backs rather and they say Rabahes, Rib. Y'all are gonna laugh if it's something like, Margaret, it says Rebecca. Rebajes, is that a J? Rabahes, I don't know. We'll have to look that up as well. Cool deal. Let's make a thumbnail. Dudes, 
I think we're gonna keep this thumbnail easy breezy. And yeah, I called you dudes. <laughs> we had some amazing finds in today's, this is part of that haul still. I can't wait to look this up. You will have known by now because it will be popped up on the screen, but I don't know still, so the mystery's new for me. Don't ruin it. I'm gonna go find out. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. If you are new here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite thing was or if you know something that I missed. I want to hear it because I appreciate it. I'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks, everybody. Bye.